Crock-Pot bourbon chicken is better than takeout. Hi, I'm Carrie with eatingonadime.com and I'm on a mission to help families eat well on a budget. And this recipe does just that. Your slow cooker is gonna do all the work and it's literally better than takeout. It's cheaper and healthier. This is one recipe you're going to make on repeat. Now, to find the full recipe with the nutritional information, I have it linked below in the description, but you can always go to eatingonadime.com and then search bourbon chicken and it will pull right up for you. Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any more of our future family-friendly recipes. We're posting videos all the time that I know you're going to love. One more thing before we continue. I did want to tell you, you can also just go to Google and type in eating on a dime bourbon chicken and it will pull right up for you as well. So you have three different ways that you can find this delicious and easy recipe. Today I'm going to use a six quart slow cooker for this recipe. Um, pretty much any size will work, honestly. I would keep it at five quarts and above. I do have a link for my best slow cookers linked in the description, or again, you can go to Google and search eating on a dime, best slow cookers, and you will find all of our favorites and why we love it. Now, I'm just gonna use three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. If you don't wanna use chicken thighs, I believe you could use chicken tenders or even chicken breasts in this recipe as well. The chicken thighs are what is traditionally made in a bourbon chicken, and they just hold up. They're super moist and flavorful. We're just gonna lay these right on top of each other. It's okay to layer them. So we need to start with a mixing bowl. We're going to add three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and a quarter cup of bourbon. A few things you need to know about the bourbon. Number one, just use a bourbon that you would drink. If you don't like bourbon or you're wanting to make this without any alcohol, you can easily substitute it with pineapple juice, apple juice, or even just chicken broth. Now the pineapple juice or the apple juice is gonna give you that little bit of tang. So it will taste different, but it'll still taste really, really good. And if you use the chicken broth, it will still be delicious, but you're, not, you're gonna be missing out on that tang that the bourbon and the other drinks would you know, add to the recipe. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of honey. A quarter cup of brown sugar. And a quarter cup of ketchup. Then we're gonna add ginger, red pepper flakes, and black pepper and a tablespoon of minced garlic. You can mince your own garlic or you can use pre-made garlic, which is what we're using today. Take a whisk and then whisk it until it's all combined. I had to move the handle because I'm left-handed. So the reason, normally I love just throwing stuff in a crock pot, but since there's brown sugar and honey involved, I want all that whisked together before I pour it in. Now we're just gonna pour it right on top, coating that chicken. I'm gonna get my spatula to get all the other brown sugar that fell at the bottom. I wanna get all the deliciousness out of this bowl. Ooh, it smells good. Then we're going to add the lid and we're gonna slow cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for three to three and a half hours. Now we're not cooking this as long as we normally would a crock pot recipe because we don't want it to completely fall apart. We want them still to be whole and tender and delicious. And chicken thighs just don't take as long as maybe like a chicken breast recipe. So I'm gonna let this sit and I will be back. Okay, it's been cooking and we're ready. Now, right when it's finished cooking, we want to thicken that sauce. And the best way to thicken the sauce is with a thickener like cornstarch. So we're gonna take about three tablespoons of water to maybe a quarter cup of water and then we're going to add in cornstarch. Today we're just doing a tablespoon of cornstarch and then we're gonna whisk it together. It's really important that you use cold water on this. If we mix cornstarch directly with the hot water, the cornstarch could become clumpy and not mix in well. But once you mix it in well, then you're just gonna pour this right in. 
And then I just stir it in and we're gonna let this cook for 20 minutes on high and that will thicken that sauce up so it's not watery and it's more like a gravy or a sauce. While that sauce is thickening, we're gonna remove the chicken and you can either shred it or you can cut it up in bite-sized pieces. Today, I'm just gonna cut it up. So I'm just gonna run my knife through all of these pieces and just put them into bite-sized pieces. Again, you can shred it if you want to. I'm just chopping it up because it's a little bit easier, I think, than shredding chicken thighs. I feel like chopping them up is just a lot easier. We're just gonna scrape this, put all these back in, and then we're gonna let that sauce thicken. I usually put the lid back on and it can take up to 20 minutes. If you're short on time, you can actually drain the sauce and heat it up on the stovetop if you want to, and it just takes two or three minutes. Now all we have to do is serve. So I love to serve it with just a bed of white rice. Brown rice would be delicious. It's so great with veggies. The sauce tastes amazing on like some roasted um, broccoli or we have an easy microwave broccoli recipe. But look how delicious that looks. Ah! Now it's time for my favorite part, eating it. So good and so tasty. Let's give it a quick try real quick. Oh yeah. That's really good. The chicken is so tender. The sauce is flavored perfectly. Now remember you can get the full recipe linked in the description. Remember there's actually three ways you can find this recipe. We have it linked in the description. You can go to eatonadime.com and just search bourbon chicken. Or you can go to Google and type in Eat on a Dime Bourbon Chicken and it will pull right up for you. No reason for you not to get this recipe and make it this week. Now, also one more thing, inside the recipe, you're also gonna get just the full recipe, but also nutritional information and all of our tips and tricks and even side and serving ideas. So you don't wanna miss out on that. Thanks so much for joining me though. I cannot wait to show you a another delicious recipe. Make sure you like and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any more of our family friendly recipes because we are on a mission to help you save time, money, and sanity. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends.